Hey what's up guys we are back again with another video. So everything about the Galaxy S22 series will be made official in just 2 days and we already know the Samsung Galaxy S22 series specifications, design and even the pricing of the upcoming device has been arrived. Well, we also know about the company is going to be shipping the Galaxy S22 series with two separate processors across the world. Certain regions like the US, China and South Korea may be getting the Snapdragon variant while the European and other regions tend to get the Exynos processor. Previously, Exynos processor have developed a reputation for providing inferior performance in comparison to its Snapdragon counterpart, but things are about to change with the Galaxy S22 series. You see, the Exynos 2200 has been the subject of controversy within the tech community these past couple of months, which has resulted to a general belief that Exynos 2200 will again fall behind the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But in recent report by Phone Arena, the Exynos powered Galaxy S22 Ultra was a it against the Snapdragon variant based on their latest Geekbench performance, presumably to be the final retail units of the upcoming smartphone. The benchmark reveals that the performance of the Exynos 2200 is closely identical to that of Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, indicating that you can't go wrong with the S22 Ultra, no matter which processor is allocated to your region. And for context, the Exynos 2200 scores 1168 points in a single core score, while the 1226 score scored by Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The multi-core department is where the Exynos 2200 outperformed the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, scoring 3508 in comparison to 3462. It's worth mentioning that the single core performance of the Exynos S22 Ultra nearly doubled that of an earlier listing which surfaced back in November. It is also worth mentioning that Exynos variant have always had an issue with the heat management and often falls behind the Snapdragon variant under sustained use. So it will be interesting to see if the company have also made improvement in that area as well. As far as the processor, both are built on 4 nanometer processor and although both chips are identical, even in architecture, they may perform differently in graphics department due to Geekbench primarily stress testing. While the Galaxy S22 lineup will be announcing on February 9 unpacked live stream event and Samsung is also expected to announce the new lineup of the Galaxy Tab S8. So I'm super excited about both the Galaxy S22 Ultra, Exynos and Snapdragon variant. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your opinion on that? Which processor do you think is going to be better? Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Peace.